Read it again and then again, once again tell me that there is nothing bad about it. Is this language acceptable? This language is not acceptable. This, okay, what Abu Bakr is saying is not acceptable. This Quran it was only for 7th century. No, it was not only for 7th century. There are teachings and So should I get rid of should I get rid of this this verse for you? You don't need to get rid of it. Let's get rid of this. Tell me why you are Muslim. Tell me why you are Muslim. Muhammad says, Muhammad says, blood are the fuel of hellfire. It's not me saying, it is Muhammad saying, it is Muhammad saying, it is Muhammad saying, Minister of Health in this country, I'll in all office. He's going to get a heart attack, I'm called. The huh? He's going to get a heart attack. Yeah. He is going to get a heart attack. When your mind is become junk, the Bible is full of pornography. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I can't do it. Wait, wait. No, no. Hello. You don't need to get excited. Just read it slower and clear. You said you are English speaker. Read it slower and clear. I'm not an English speaker. I just came here right now. I came from Austria. I'm here. Okay. Okay. I want you to read it to me. Do it slowly. Orwell went to the prophet and began speaking to him. The prophet spoke as he had spoken to the bed. Then Orwell said, Muhammad came to the prophet. What? Men heard of the of the Arabs who destroyed his own race before you. And if the country comes to pass, I go to the God, prominent people in the world who are right with the and if you are in the safe, you will go shut that and return to the world. So, sorry? There is nothing bad in it. There is nothing bad about it. Can you read this part again for me and then tell me there is nothing bad about it? Read it again and then again, once again tell me that there is nothing bad about it. Where is, where, where, where is the evidence of this sentence? No, no, no that, I'm, not, that, I'm not, right now that's not what I am focusing. Where you said that, there is, is nothing bad about no, it, so can is, you read it? Where is, where is the evidence of this sentence that which you have written? Okay, it's from the Tabari. Are you Sunni Muslim? Are you Sunni Muslim? Yes, I am. So, if you are Sunni Muslim, I am sure you know someone called Tabari. Tabari, volume 8, page 76. I want you to read this and then tell me once again that there is no problem with it. I want you to read this part again and then... Okay, so do you still believe that there is no problem with this? Is this language acceptable? This language is not acceptable. This, okay, what Abu Bakr is saying is not acceptable. No, 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 wait. This language is not acceptable, but if Abu Bakr said this, give me the evidence of where he has written this and he said okay. this sentence. So this language is, language is not acceptable. Abu Bakr is saying this, and Tabari, one of your Muslim scholars, okay, telling this Abu Bakr said this in volume 8 of his book in page 76. It is written. It is written. It is written. I have the book at home. It is written there. You can... I don't have the book. Don't play. Go to open your phone. Open your phone. Open your phone. Go to the Google. Write Tabari volume 8 page 76. Go suck blah blah and then it will come. Do it. There is uh, no, no, do it. There is, there is a limit. In, Mr. Uh, Muslim, into, into Mr. Muslim, go to, go to internet. You've got phone. Open your phone. Write Tabari, volume eight, page seventy-six. Abu Bakr said, "Go suck blah blah." It will come up. Do it. Look, I'm talking to you right now, right? I'm telling you, if you have written something like this, right? 
you could have also bring an evidence, right? This is there the evidence. Is no, Sir, there, there is no evidence. I this is write, evidence. I write by myself. Okay, I'm show me. Prove me that I have written this by myself. Why are you so there afraid? Is, is, Why are you so afraid to go up on YouTube, go up on the Google, and then search for it? When, go to the Google. You, take, you take your phone out. I didn't bring this. Take your you phone out first. Take your you phone out first. You bring take your phone out. Your take your phone out. No. Take your phone out. Why, like why are you so afraid? Are you afraid, afraid that you will see not, this? You have to bring a book and evidence so that this sentence of this which you have written it, which you have typed okay. it, it's, it's true. Okay. So here's another line. Messenger of Allah instructed us. If you hear someone is boasting in an arrogant, that's something mainly for you right now. Not arrogant, it's ignorant. That's for you now. It's Men are of his tribal lineage, tell them, tell him to bite his father's male member. And do not, do not use a metaphor. I think it is addressing you right now. So wait, now wait, we did the wait, first part. Let wait, me come to the second we are not part. From, from this first chapter, right? We are not finished. From I am listening. First I am. I am hoping that you are brave enough to go to the Czech Google and then find the reference. Why should I go to the Google? You have to bring an evidence. I already gave you the evidence. You are oh, so afraid to go and check it, sir. You are so afraid. That's evidence. You are already having a problem. Even sir, the internet Sir, there are websites simply using the, this story to justify jihad towards those who are insulting Islam. You can do that. So it is. I gave you the. I show you. You read it. It is from now on. It's up to you to take it or throw it away. That's absolutely up to you. But denying is not going to help you. So you know deep down it is there, sir. Okay, all right. If, even if this is right, right? Even if this is okay. Sorry? What's wrong with it? Okay, so now you think if it is so you say if it is if this is correct, yeah. what is wrong with it? Okay, so you don't say there is anything wrong with it. That's fine. It depends. It, it depends upon the situation. Which situation a person say if he was in anger, right? A person when a person is in anger, he can say everything he wants, right? So because if the pers person is in anger. They can say whatever they want and that can be justified. Yeah, because because uh, the, the, the mind doesn't work well at that time. And, and it's, uh, it's Sorry, say it that, again? And it's up to the opposite yeah. person, you know, that how, how he, he talks to the opposite person. Maybe uh, he has abused, uh, he has used something abusive, right? So that's why he has said like this. So let me understand. If this is correct, which Abu Bakr is stating and Tawar yeah. is confirming it is correct, yeah. there is nothing wrong with it in the intention, because in Islam, you can say in anger whatever you want to say. Correct? No, there is nothing like this. You can say whatever you want to say. Whatever is good, you can say. Whatever, whatever, whatever is good, you can say. Okay, whatever so is wrong, it's not. if sake of the argument, this is correct. When, when in, in, anger mood, in, in anger mood, when a person says something, you don't have to catch him at that time why you said like this. Okay, you know? so... If Abu Bakr is stating this, and then in which if situation he has said this, you have to you have to think about no conte context. Context, context is already there. Opinion. You already read the context. Do you think this is justifiable? Justifiable? Is this all right? Context is already here. So, do you think context can justify it? Context can justify it. But, okay, but that's problem, fine. That's fine. Problem. So, if context wait, justifies wait, it, that's absolutely wait, fine. Wait, what, what, what I'm going to tell you, right? When Abu Bakr said like this, for example, right? 
So he might be in an anger mood, right? And the person, opposite person, he, he might have said something like this, so that Abu Bakr told him like this, that like, uh, go, uh, the, the, this, uh, this words, right? So there is nothing, I think there is nothing wrong in it. Okay. The person can say So that, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. I am grateful that, sorry, where did you say you are from? Austria? No. Where are you? I'm from Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yeah. So I am grateful that you can simply look at such a language, this one, and also finished. As soon as you finish your chit chat, I am grateful that you look like you are someone over 15 from Afghanistan, currently is in Britain, can simply say such a language is depend on the situation can be justified okay so do you think do you think is it ever justifiable is it ever justifiable to uh, abuse and lie about lord jesus christ to abuse and lie what abuse and lie about lord jesus christ no, no. if someone abuses and lies about lord jesus christ what do you think should be done can, can I use such a language towards that person? To the opposite person? Yeah, if you, if you lied about Jesus, will you be okay if I use this language towards you? You are going to the other way, you know? This, this word, this sentence might have said, said in, in anger, right? How do you know it is in anger? In the context, it doesn't even imply that Abu Bakr is angry. He's is making right fun here? of people who are worshipping the pagans. I'm not acknowledging this, sorry, telling you again. I'm not acknowledging this, whether it is right or wrong. But I'm telling you this, maybe this sentence, which you have written it, which you have typed it, right? He might have said in an anger mood, or there might be a, a conflict of battle, something like that. That's why he might have said this. What's wrong with it? So my problem is, you live in Britain, and you are reading such an ugly language, and you are asking what is wrong with it. That is my problem. Okay? That is my serious problem. It should all concern you. And again and again stating, again and again stating that um, you don't accept it is right or wrong. According to Tabari, it is there, it is right. That is what Abu Bakr said. It is all very much disturbing. But it is double concerning someone who is in Britain right now have zero problem with that. So, if anyone insults Jesus, if anyone insults Jesus, should I use this, such a language? Do, does Islam give me justification to use such a language? What is insulting for you? Sorry, what's your question? If someone is insulting Jesus, Okay, should I use such a language, language Abu Bakr used? Mm -hmm. in, which, in which case uh, a person uh, is uh, abusing Jesus? In insulting Jesus, yeah. yeah. In which case? For in, example, in battle, if... So, if in a, in a, in a, in a debate, in a debate, in a battle, in a If someone says Jesus didn't die, that's an insult. Mm -hmm. If someone says Jesus is not the Son of no, God, you have to, you have that's an insult. That's not an insult. That's not an insult. No. If, okay. if Jesus died, that's not an insult. That's, that's, uh, that's his opinion. I have to see what's his opinion. That's an insult. So, in here, in it's here, see, see, now you are justifying insulting Lord Jesus Christ. When, when, when I love to say this word, but I'm not going to pronounce it. Abusing is this when a person is insulting. Uh, uh, you, your family, for example, Gary. something like this. He's, he's uh, uh, talking rubbish words, abusing this like this. If a person says that is rubbish is word right, when yes. someone says Jesus is just a prophet. It is rubbish word when it's someone not, says, No, you are trying to justify your theology to me now. It's, it's, While it's just, it's Abu Bakr has nothing to just, don't touch me. While Abu Bakr has nothing to justify. It's just an opinion of a person. When a person yeah. says that Jesus is not that, he, it's his opinion. It's not an abusing word. I don't see anything abusing. So, 21st century, Muslims continue to abuse Lord Jesus Christ by denying his death and his resurrection, by simply denying his identity, 
apparently that is justifiable and Islam doesn't even give me right to use the vocabulary Abu Bakr used versus in the context Abu Bakr has no justification according to you what he said that is disgraceful if you are planning to stay in Britain I simply I simply encourage you to get hold get hold some menace and also I simply encourage you to run away from Islam the Islam you brought from Afghanistan is the of the way that a person can, 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 can live under the Islam. Islam, what's Islam? Islam is from Salam. Salam is peace. According to who? According to, According to who Islam, is, Islam means peace? The word itself, Islam, means Islam came from Salam. Ac According Salam. to who? According, According to who? According to everyone. No, According that's a lie. Islam means submission. Islam means submission. Look, bring have, your you evidence. Have, you have, bring you your have, evidence you that Islam means word, peace. You have such a word to Islam. Bring, I bring, that you have used bring, bring your evidence that Islam means peace. That's one event in his life. You shouldn't generalize it. You know? Sorry? That's one event in his life of Abu Bakr. We are all humans. Something like this can happen. We have emotional situations in which we curse. No one is uh, perfect, you know? So, he has sorry, one so, sorry, sorry. I'm just trying to understand. This is the statement Abu Bakr did once in his lifetime. Okay, therefore, let's, let's therefore, okay. therefore, we shall just turn blind eye and ignore. No, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do if the followers of Islam is using this to justify? Believe me, they don't do it because they, the do. they do. They do. They do. So, have to check out the so here's the here's the huge article. There is a huge article. Uh, where is it? This one, justifying people to be killed through jihad because simply it is acceptable in Islam if you are insulting someone that's the example Abu Bakr sets it okay that's that's a huge article here so that was the first Tabari this is the second one this is the Muhammad messenger of Allah is talking okay from Sunni sources can you read it to me if you hear someone boasting in an arrogant manner of his tribal lineage then tell him to bite those uh, you have to always be aware that in those sources you have to compare with other sources first before making a general statement muslim are very sensible with such sources which was re related by uh, al muslim ahmad al so it is, it is mentioned in ahmad classified as a hassan okay and then Islam QA is justified such using such actions, okay? So it is ugly action. It is ugly saying if you are Muslim, you should be ashamed of it right now. Are you Muslim? Not laugh at it. You should gülmemelisin. Gülmene hiçbir gerek yok. Çok ag çok çirkin, çirkin and çirkin bir şey. English. You have to understand that the general message we get to know from the first primary sources not to curse in the first place not to you know you don't get this message anywhere in the islamic sources but these okay. are collectors tabari was a story okay so let's let's hold the hands to hold can you hold the hold the page hold the page okay five seconds silent for the funeral of abu bakr that you are burying him right now you throw him under the bus he's gone okay now focus Let's get rid of this. Tell me why you are Muslim. Tell me why you are Muslim. Why are you Muslim? I'm not used to this kind of thing. Continue. Think. I'll give you time to think. How old are you, sir? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Have you ever seen your father is beating your mother? Never. No. If you see, if you see, this gentleman is beating his wife, what would you do? I would maybe advise him. Can you look at me when you speak to me? Because I can't hear well. I would, maybe I would advise him to not to beat his wife. So you would advise him to not beat his wife. What else you would do? Maybe I would interfere. You would step in? Yeah. Okay. If Allah is telling you that you have right to beat your wife, what would you do? Um, 
I would try to understand it in, in the context. Okay, let's turn the context. You know, there is a professor, I'm attending the Goethe University in Frankfurt am Main, in Germany, okay? And I'm studying Islamic studies and also English studies and... Sir? There is I wanted, a, I wanted there is to a focus. I wanted to focus. Angelika Neuwirth, maybe you know her. Angelika Neuwirth, she's very famous in Germany. I know. And she let me let me focus. No, 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 no. I I want I want I want I want to I want to. After I'm just after I'm finished, you can what, what is your name? To you. My name is Michael. Michael. Yeah. After I finish, okay. Just you can talk. So, so she said, looking at the context, looking at the societal structure. Uh, the first was like a relief for the women in, the, in such a time, in, in the time when she was treated as an object, okay? She was treated as, women were treated as an object, okay? And Islam gave many more rights to women. If you transfer it to today, that would mean that many things in Islam has to be, you know, thought over again and the principles behind it have to be understood. You won't, it's very common knowledge at university we don't discuss things like this because there is a transfer from the history, from the context, from the social, social context to today. Let me respond. Let me respond. I am sorry to... I, am, I, heard, I heard what you said. Did you understand me? I heard what you said. I am very sorry to hear at age 23, yeah. you are already trying to justify certain teachings. That is very much I am disturbed by. First of all, Islam doesn't give women any right which they didn't have before. Okay, that's a huge lie. And I am sorry at university you've been lied to. Okay, that's first point. Second point is, how can you justify in any form or shape that man is beating his wife and his, her skin is greener than her dress. How can you justify that in any form or any shape by under the, look at me, focus on me, okay? How can you justify that under the teachings of Allah? Second point. Third point, have you heard someone called Khatija? Yeah. Who is Khatija? First wife of Prophet. First wife of Prophet. How old, how much older? Just a moment. We just need to change the battery. Um, sorry, you, you said you are studying to be Islamic teacher. Okay. Um, can you tell me about Khatija? Yeah, I've told you that it, she was the first wife of the Prophet. Okay. So she was the first wife of Muhammad. Can you compare Khatija's time okay. versus the wife, uh, wives of other Muhammad? Was Khatija covered up? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Answer is no. Yes. Did, did, can you prove it? Because covering entered the Islamic world after the death of Khatija. It came up. You say it, that, so you're claiming that covering Surah came Surah, with, came Surah 33 Islam. verse 59. Before that there was no uh, hijab, no uh, covering. Covering stepped in. Mm -hmm. You are going to be Islamic teacher. How come you don't know very basics? So Surah 33 verse 59. Covering comes so that you cover that you don't get abused. Before that there was no covering? No. No at all, in the Arabic Peninsula. The reason covering comes because Umar sees one of Muhammad's wife. She's large and big at night. She's like checking the woman, he's checking the woman's out. He goes to Muhammad and then says, we need to cover the wives. Otherwise I'm going to, rec I'm recognizing what your wife is doing. Suddenly Allah steps in and then gives this verse, verse of covering. So you cover that you don't get abused. Muslim woman needs to cover, Muslim man don't abuse them. I, Khatija did not cover. Her right of freedom to dress up what she wants to have is being taken away with the teachings of Muhammad. She was able to ask Muhammad to marry her. What happened? Islam stepped in and then take that that right away from Muslims. Oh, like I would like to see the sources first. You give me the sources since you are disagreeing with me. I'm not, I haven't graduated yet, and you know I'm focusing more on method methodology and stuff. Not, Let me ask you a very basic question. I'm, I'm, I'm interested uh, in it. Someone who you. someone who wants to be Islamic, who is training to be Islamic teacher, how are you handling the child? Uh, child wife. 
The child what? Child wife, child marriage. Aisha, so there is... You know, Sorry, what is the I name know. of the child wife? Aisha. Aisha. How old was Aisha when Mohammed had sex she with her? She was young, she was young. I know How discussions. Old? I have, you know, How there's old? always the same discussions. How old was she? I don't know. I you have to look up the sources. So you are going to be, are you sure you are training to be a I'm not teacher? going to be a professor at university. I'm going to teach in school. So you are going to teach in school? You don't even know the basics of Islam? students who are Muslim. I know the basics. Oh, know, so you I are going to, what are you going to say to the Muslim man? Yeah. Uh, imagine I am your student. Teacher? Can my father have sex with your child? I will say no. You would say no? Yeah. What is your justification for that? It will be probably some uh, 10 lessons or so, and we will take that, uh, let me say, issue from many perspectives and come to a conclusion together with the class. Okay. And then I will let the students decide for what they uh, are deciding. Uh, for what they are deciding for themselves is true. Okay. okay. So you will let students decide yeah, yeah. if it is true or not. Uh, let, let's do very basic. Okay. Um, are you Prophet Muhammad? I guess no. You guess no. Okay. We can figure that out. Like it's not that difficult to figure that out. Okay. Uh, are you Allah? No, you've got two shields. <laughs> are you Allah? I guess not. You are not Allah. While the word of Allah orders, orders, you to divorce the child who you had sex with, who do you think you are? Lying to the Muslim students and telling them, oh, we can make a decision which is acceptable. Who do you think you are overriding the word of Allah? Uh, it's not about overriding the verse of Allah, it's just shedding new light on the verse of Allah, you know? Okay, share the light here. 65.4. So you are going to be Islamic teacher, you don't even know the basics about Islam, but basics. you know how to lie and deceive Muslims. And it's not funny. Gülünecek bir şey yok gerçekten. So when, did your prophet made a mistake when he climbed the top of a child? See those things like a frame, okay? There is like a framing in a society, context. in a context. You know, there is a framing. What is the context of this? So, while the word of Allah was existed from the beginning to end, what is the context of this? So <laughs> explain to, it to me. Actually, before just, before that, can you just uh, explain me what the verse is saying? I'm sorry, before I go into, I don't want to go into this verse right now. You can't just take one verse and make like a generalization from it. There specific, there's a context in which it was, uh, you know... I am not really taking revealed. one verse and making generalization and of it. I am asking you, who is going to be the Islamic teacher, I am asking you to explain this to me. You are, you are going to be teacher. You I am sure you all yeah. studied this you, and not, you are just fine. Not, explain it to me. I'm not going to be a theology teacher. I'm not going to... Uh, you teach are going to teach people. Muslims about Islam. I think you don't want to understand me. I'm trying to say something to you. You are going to teach this to Muslim children. So, I'm not gonna what, uh, how are you going to deal? How are you going to deal with this verse when your Muslim child, student says, I am going to use this, my father is using this verse yeah. to have sex with my neighbor's child. What you, are you going to do? Do you really think that one student is going to tell me this? Do you really think that? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that happened. What are you going to yeah. say? I can't imagine because it probably won't It's not going to happen, happen anyway. Yeah. It's only happened in your uh, side. It's How many children have been abused by your church every day? <laughs> oh, okay. Islamic yeah. grooming gang, see? People are screaming out for Islamic grooming See, gangs again. About children, so how yeah. do you justify this? Talk about your child. How many children been abusing the child every day, on a daily basis? In I don't this want. Country? I don't want to use her methods. Yeah. I don't want to use her methods. Like sir, can, you know, sir, on a daily basis, sir, children. can you explain this to me? Like, what is your own reading of this? I have told you, you know, I will shed some lights on it yeah. and we will look at the hadith, yes, look at the okay. prophet's life, look at the verses and then we will come to a conclusion. Okay, and so can we do that now? I, I'm not ready to do that now, maybe. Why? Because I haven't prepared, because I haven't looked at the evidences, you know. So, I've, not, no I've, got, I've got the top sir with me. I've got the top sir with me. He's teacher, he's not going to read the child. It's only happening here in English. I've got the top sir. So, top sir identified this as you are divorcing them 
while they are in young age. They are just a child who has been developing. So I guess my question still stands. If you are going to teach Muslims about Islam, yeah, yeah. and right now you are studying to be Islamic yeah, teacher, yeah. how are you going to handle this verse? I have told you that I have I'm not satisfied with it. I don't have evidence for it. You don't need to how, does it how does it make you, you feel you as a man? To, you don't need to be satisf satisfied with me. I'm not here to satisfy you. Why not? Okay. You can't even give me very basic answer. I'm trying to, give, I'm trying to give you a message. I have told you. What is the message? I have what is given you the message. I have given you the message. But I'm telling you right now is look at the principles which are, you know, conveyed by the Quran before you choose and cherry pick those verses. So, so do you believe your prophet uh, followed the Western law our, and then did that to Aisha? Live in do you, you think right? Allah followed the Western law? and then ask Muhammad to practice all those kind of things. So you are assuming that I am asking you the law of Allah is like living in the postmodern era and you're uh, treating him with the myth, with the teachings of the postmodern era. So you know, do you think the teachings of Muhammad should be in 7th century? No, not all the principles. Okay, which we ones? Should, we should so which teachings of Muhammad should be buried in 7th no, 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 century? We should, we should learn from his principles. He has no principle you know, at all. So, which of teachings of Muhammad should be buried in 7th century? Which teachings of Muhammad should be buried in 7th century? Child marriage? Put that in 7th century? Yes or no? That's a social cultural context. Should you leave the child marriage in 7th century? You leave it. I don't leave it there, but that was a specific matter to that time. It was a specific matter to the time of the 20th century, but now the culture has changed. Okay, and it got can it. Change yeah. again to got that. it. Got it. Okay, got it. So, do you think in that case, this Quran it was only for seventh century? No, it was not only for seventh century. There are teachings. And so should I get rid of? Should I get rid of this? This verse you for should, you? You, know, you don't need to get rid of it. You don't need no, to get rid of it. We still keep it. It is the verse which talks about divorcing are, a child should messages. still stay are, in the Quran. There are timeless messages. You take in one case, there is hundreds of the, cases The today. verse which talking about the divorcing maybe a child, after, should that stay in the Quran? After, after 300 years, it will be needed again. Okay, maybe in 300, we will need it, therefore we keep it in the Quran. Why don't you go and stop the children being abused in this church anyway? I told you many times. Why don't you go yeah, and give you, your private you part to Muhammad? <laughs> we have this issue one time with the prophet and explain for you. Today Today, today, in the 21st century, hundreds of children has been abused and raped in the child. Don't I'm cry, crying. baby. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry, baby. You just don't like the fact. That's the don't, don't, don't cry, cry baby. Don't, moving now. don't, don't, don't cry, moving. baby. Don't cry, baby. Uh, it's too old, anyway. So he's, he's, Why don't you go and Don't cry, her. baby. I see now. Yeah. How many children have been abused in this country? But is the Thousands. Millions. Over 300,000 <laughs> girls are <laughs> victims of grooming gangs. Abuse and touches what grooming gangs? Yeah? Islamic grooming can... gangs. What is their reference? Surah 65, actions of Muhammad, as well as Surah 65. So, should I get rid of Surah 65 verse 4? But Surah 65, in which, which century was? Was referring to an age. I have already responded to you. Okay, we get rid of it. So now let's deal with the other one where you talked about the rights are given to the woman. I leave you with her, but ask her the question. Where she go, there is about 10 or 15 children have been abused. Can, can you need to report this it to the police. Like and start to help in the breast, you know? Can you read this for me? That's what you should do. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Bundan niye kaçıyorsun ki? Hayır, bir sürü yalan söyledi. Bir sürü yalan söyledi. Sana, sana da şeyde... Um, Ça okuduğun üniversitede yalan söylüyorlar. Sen de gelecek nesillere yalan söylemesini evet, öğreniyorsun. Ben, ben, ben gerçekten bazı şeyleri öğrenmek için anlamak istiyorum. Evet Müslüman ailede doğdum ama üniversitede bak işte Alman profesörler var. O bunu söyleyen kadın da Müslüman değil. Ve bize birçok eseri önümüze koyup gösteriyorlar. Tamam bak böyle bakabilirsin. Kadınlar bakabilirsin. kadınlar Allah'tan iyi geliyorlarsa çok güzel. Buradan bakabilirsin. Dön. Kadınlar Allah'tan iyilerse çok güzel. Because bak, Allah onu Allah söylemiyor. Allah onu evet. söylemiyor. Evet. Muhammed onu yapmadı. Sana yalan söylendi. Sana hala yalan söyleniyor ve seni 
they train you to lie to the next generation. That is most dangerous thing, sir. I'll, I'll, you know, you don't even have to pay for the university. I'll tell you how to make sense of Islam. Get rid of this book and get rid of all the teachings of Muhammad. Life will make sense and Islam, when it does not exist, it will make sense. And you don't have to pay for the university at all. That was free lesson for you. Um, apparently, one of our brother is being removed from speaker's corner because lovely Muslims were in action. I'm just going to ask that to Mr. Policeman. I'm just going to the policeman. I'm coming back in a second.